hello so i want to try some new makeup with you guys and incorporate a little bit of not so new makeup in this look today i hope you enjoyed it and i am starting with a clean slate nothing on my face and i want to try the new danessa Merrick's yummy skin serum skin tint i picked up shade number two i'm gonna be using that i'm also gonna be revisiting the makeup by mario bronzer and blush and i'm also gonna try the new anastasia by really hills uh, eyeshadow palette which i'm really excited about so let's get right into it i'm gonna start with the yummy skin i am a fan of the makeup i tried so far from Vanessa merrick so when i saw that she came out with a new serum i said yes of course again this is a yummy skin serum skin tint hydrate smooth and correct i picked up shade number two all right i do like the packaging I'm gonna put some in the back of my hand and if I need more then I'll go back for more. I'm gonna be using again the Sonia G the sheer buffer brush because um, it could be used for really lightweight foundations or, or face complexion products so here is what the tint looks like. It's not dripping down my hand which is good I guess. Pick up some of my finger I'm gonna apply it on half of my face. There's no scent and then apply it and then see how it looks and then i'll go on with the other half i don't expect it to be super high coverage i expect it to be light coverage it is a serum tint not a foundation i'm gonna go back with for the rest of it and put a little bit more because i want a little bit more coverage so here it's on one side and here is without it there's a little bit of coverage a little bit more radiance for this side of the face i think i'm going to use i think no i'm going to use the bk beauty foundation brush just to see if there's a difference in application and get a little bit more i wonder how it is as well with like just the fingers i wonder if that would work i haven't seen any reviews on this product i wanted to do this uh review with a open mind so i wonder if i start with my fingers probably have more coverage but not it's not gonna blend as well mm, i don't know i thought one was gonna be too light but i think even two is a little bit too light for my complexion okay i'm gonna go with the bk beauty brush now okay i like how it applies better with this brush actually it blends better and i'm gonna go back now on this side of the face and fix here the side of my nose and my eye area it's not dewy it looks a little bit radiant but it's not dewy it's not too, um doesn't look wet which i think is gonna be good for if you have oily skin because i have dry skin so I think this works for both dry and oily skin, at least so far. It looks pretty good so far. I'm going to be testing it for a few hours. And I'll let you guys know at the end, the pinned comment. I'll let you guys know how it looks. If it fared well after X amount of hours. I'm going to clean off my hand. I don't want any accidents, especially on my shirt, on my, my black dress. Clean off the excess of the back of my hand. It's not sticky so i don't think yeah i don't need to put any powder but i am going to apply concealer and i'm i don't have a new concealer to try out so i'm going to use my dior skin forever correct one cr if you've seen my videos in the past if you've seen me before you know that this is my favorite concealer so i'm gonna put a little bit here and on the edge i'm not gonna put it anywhere else maybe here i have a little red spot and I'm going to start with a finger and then I'll just go in after with a brush if I need to. So I actually didn't go and end up using a brush. I finished off with my finger. I really love this concealer and this shade really brightens up my eye area. So I'm ready to go into the eyeshadows. And like I said at the beginning, I will be using for the first time the ABH Cosmos Eyeshadow Palette. I did some swatchings for Instagram, but I'll do more swatching now with you guys to show you. Here is the palette. Let's open it up. It's really gorgeous. This shade right here came a little bit messed up when I opened it, but I patted it back everything in and it looks okay. I didn't return the palette because I really was excited to just use it right away. I didn't want to wait any more time. So what I like to do usually is use just one brush for the whole look. But let's do the swatching first. I'm going to do it all in the back of my hand. I think that's don't swatch that great. 
but here is the top row those shimmers are gorgeous and then here we have the bottom row So now, since I have them in the back of my hand like this, I could decide what shades I'm going to use. I would love to use all shades, but I don't think I'll be able to. I You could definitely get a few different looks, a bunch of different looks with this palette. It's very versatile. It's perfect for summer. It gives me like this mermaid vibe, which is really nice. So this is the brush I'm going to use for most of the application today. I'm going to start with mattes. And I'm going to start with the lighter shades first. So I'm going to have like a little base. I think I'm just going to, um, I think I'm going to stick with this quadrant for today. And then I'll use the rest in future looks. So I'm going to start, well, I'm going to start actually with this one. So it's going to be like these five right here. And maybe some of that purple. I don't know. I do want to try the shimmers. I love shimmers. I'm going to start with uh, Stardust. I'm going to start really slow just to be sure that I don't get any stuff on my face. So I'm going to go to the crease and start building it up. Okay, so now that I have that color up, I'm going to move in with Comet. All these names, I didn't say them, but all these names have to do with like Cosmos, uh, the heavens, that's why it's called Cosmos. Um, space Dust, Comet, Eclipse, Supernova, Mars, Dark Matter, Galaxy, Quasar, Mercury, Orion, Sun, and Supercluster. I should have mentioned the names when I was swatching, but I realized they had names after I took them all off. So I apologize for that. So now I want to go into the crease with that Comet color. really pretty i changed my mind a little bit um since they're very similar i'm gonna go in now with this one that would be my outer half color i'm building it up here as i go so now i'm gonna go in with this shade called sun and it's a duochrome and the screen it looks kind of like a pinkish coral but in person it looks in some reflection it's kind of uh, like orangey copper so I'm gonna get with my middle finger and go apply it here in the inner half so pretty I'm gonna get a little tiny brush and start with my waterline before I finish cleaning off everything I'm gonna get this one from refer the number number what number three I'm gonna do the inner corner first and then I'll use the same brush to go to the waterline so I'm gonna use quasar or quasar yeah quasar quasar and that's gonna be for the inner corner the tear duct and then I'm gonna use this shade for the waterline it's not white, it's like has some green in it, which makes it cool. I actually thought it was going to be <laughs> white, so I don't know if I'm going to like this. So now I'm going to go back with Space Dust and go to the waterline. I'm not liking that color in a tear duct area, so I'm going to see if I could take it off and... Uh, do something else. Probably not put anything there because there's nothing in that palette that's gonna work. So I'm gonna try to take off that color. Okay, there's a little bit of sparkles left that I wasn't able to take off. But I think otherwise, all the other shades are really, really pretty. And I did like that color, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of it and go on top of this and just put a little bit. It's gonna add a little bit more color, more pop. Okay, so I think it's uh, an extra pop that's really, really pretty. What do you guys think? I had, I got some shimmer around my face, so I had to go back, clean it off, apply concealer again, and now it looks much better. 
I think it's really, really pretty. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. I don't have a new mascara to show you guys today. So I'm going to be using one of my favorites, the Chantecaille Fossis, to finish off the eye look. All right, so let's move on with bronzer. The bronzer and blush that I'm going to be using today is from Makeup by Mario. I already used this before, but I have a new shade. It's just peachy is the one I've been using, but I have this shade called Barely Blushing. I'm going to try them out. I love the formula so much. I had to get another shade, and then I got the bronzer because I was told that it's the same formula, and I was in love. I mean, I'm in love with this bronzer, so I'm using it again. Mine is in the shade Light. I'm going to be using the Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer to apply the bronzer and the Sonia G Jumbo Base to apply the blush. So I'm just going to get in a swirl. It's really light, easy to use. And since I don't contour, I just apply it basically all over the face, almost all over the face. I like to give myself a bronze to look instead of contouring. Just add a little bit of color because I am pretty pale. Give the impression that I got a little bit of sun today. Look how pretty that looks. I don't have any on this side, but I have on this side. And it's really pretty and it looks natural. As if I have no bronzer on, like nothing on. And it also gives me a little bit of a little more radiance. So it looks so pretty. Now we're going to go in with a blush. I'm going to be using today the new shade. New to me, barely blushing. Just peachy is like the name implies a little more peachy, which is the tones that I like in blushes. But and barely blushing is more towards like the pink side. So let me go in with the Sony G Jumbo. Did I say it right? Just making sure the jumbo base. And just getting a little bit, just pressing it in a couple of times. a beautiful formula but it's it's creamy and emollient so you really cannot go overboard unless you press it really hard but if you go slowly pick up a little bit and build it up as you go it just it's a beautiful beautiful blush beautiful formula and I'm not gonna put any more than what I have on right now I do want to do swatching I forgot to do that of uh, the blushes so you guys could see both shades side to side so i'm gonna do just peachy and barely blushing they're so soft so there are some differences on your left is just peachy and then we have barely blushing barely blushing but barely blushing also has a little bit of peach in there too it's not completely pink i love it i love both of them the barely blushing is really light really soft and just peachy is a little bit has a little bit more kick to it for highlight, I'm going to be using a highlight that I've had for a long time. It's not new at all, but I haven't used it in a while, and I really like it. It's the one from Victoria Beckham. It is the Reflect in the shade Pearl. This highlight is more like a wet look kind of highlight, and I'm just going to get it with my finger. And it's also really emollient. I don't know if you guys could tell. You see, it has like that wet look, and I like that. So I'm going to get some with my both my ring finger and my middle finger. You could also go directly with a brush or go directly on the skin. I like to go with my finger. And then I'm just going to go like this with both fingers. Go like that. See how pretty that is? Take it all the way here to the brow area. And I'm going to do the same now with my other side. So pretty. Now I'm going to finish off with my lips. I'm thinking since my eyes are a little bit they're shimmery and bold, I'm going to use a really light lipstick. And I took out the new BK Beauty lipstick in the shade Grace, which is a really light, really light shade, but it's gorgeous. So pretty. It reminds me a little bit, the formula reminds me to the Natasha Denona nude lipstick. I forgot, uh, let me be a nude or nude, something nude. My dream, my dream lipstick, that one. It reminds me of the color and the formula is very, very similar. And I'm a feeling, I'm feeling a little bit extra today. So I'm gonna get a Pat McGrath lip gloss. It is the Lust Gloss Lip Gloss in Bronze Venus. Just want a little bit of extra shimmer. I don't need it, but I just want it, you know. Mm -mm -mm. 
how is my look what do you guys think you love it i am surprised with this palette i was a little bit scared and intimidated i'm gonna confess but they work really well the beauty the eyeshadows blend well there was no fallout on my face only some of that shimmer the shimmer in the inner corner was the one that really got everywhere because i was trying to take it off but the shadows work perfectly together. They blend well. They look beautiful. The yummy skin does make my skin look yummy. It is gorgeous. Everything else, the blushes, the lipstick, mascara, everything I used, I love. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below. What are your thoughts? Again, I'm going to leave links of everything. And I'm going to leave a pinned comment to let you guys know how the yummy skin performed after 6 or 8 hours. So this is my look for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.